Hey you guys, Gameboy3800 here once again back playing some more BMG Drive with the Security Monster Truck. We're going to be taking a look at Bigfoot today and going over some brand new features. Uh, first of all, Bigfoot, the original add on pack skin. It's been in the mod as long as it's been on the repo. It's a classic. We'll do one very quick run with this before getting into the newest, the best feature of CRD 1.17. Map, by the way, is New Orleans 2018, I believe, by Doc Holiday 01. I think that's his username, anyways. Uh, I think it's public now. It's on the public group known as Beam Monsters. Don't know how to get into Beam Monsters? Check the FAQ in the video description. That tells you everything you need to know. Anyways, this truck is awesome, but we got some more goodies to play around with today. You know what it is. This is epic. The loading screens in this game. No, I'm kidding. There it is. Hang on one second. There we go. Bigfoot 19 on the F-250 body is here. This has been a long time coming. This is the first new body the mod's gotten since 2017. Can you believe that? The previous version of the mod had a lot of other bodies, but now this is the first one to be brought in proper. We take a look at the collision triangles. It's got its own fully custom J-beam. Still needs some work. This is a preview version of the body I have, not even in beta, so you could call this an alpha body. Now I am noticing some panel gapping issues, but I'm sure that'll be fixed by the time the betas get rolled around. But other than that, Bigfoot 19 and the brand new body style of the F-250 are sure to open up a lot of possibilities. If I were a betting man, I would like to guess that either Chevy or Dodge would be the next bodies made. Because the pickup uh, J-beam, the pickup body J-beam, is so generic. You can fit it on any pickup body pretty much with very little modifications. I'm sure for this one, all mostly what was needed was widening of the bottom bumper. Everything else is pretty much the same. Now, because this is a pre-beta version, it's not quite complete. So if I were to crash this, now. Uh, I was told the windshield might do some funky things. I had to edit the J-beam file to make the, the the little node points for the windshield all around here actually be there. Otherwise, I don't know what would have happened. But I'm told it's not yet complete, so I'll try to avoid breaking the windshield, but let's see if we can break the tailgate or something here with the sky wheelie. There we go. Seem to work beautifully. It 
it's actually a pretty common thing. Bigfoots in real life love to do wheelies, so seeing them without the tailgate is pretty realistic, I would say. So that is Bigfoot 19 in Demon's Eat Drive, but there's more. That's right, we have more features to cover. We have ourselves another skin. We go to the body and from Bigfoot to Ford Super Duty, we will find ourselves a very cool idea. Brought up by Monster Jam fan originally to, uh, to me in a Steam message, making paints that resemble completely stock trucks. So we have some F-150 skins coming like this. I'm not sure if it'll be in the main add-on pack or if they will be in the Bev pack by Mike Bev. But I think this looks awesome. A bone stock looking skin. Got the FX-4. Got the little F-250 badge there. The only thing missing I think is wing mirrors. That would make the stock look complete. As for the stock skins, I dubbed them the dealership special. So trucks like the F-250, the F-150, and the Escalade, I suspect will all have uh, stock looking skins eventually by some people. I'm doing a really good job with not breaking the body. But I should, just to show that it is fully breakable. What's the best way to do that? A botched backflip? flip you over. There we go. We have a one panel F-250. I think that'll do it for this video. Short and sweet. Let me know what you guys think of this. I know the addition of many bodies in one update is amazing. This is going to be probably the most exciting body update since Gravedigger. Let me know what bodies you would like to see added. I'm sure there's lots of possibilities now. So yeah, thanks, Game Boy Out. I'll see you guys in the future. Don't forget to check the FAQ in the description for the Discord channel. And keep an eye on the channel for when I live stream so that you can see this thing live in action. Goodbye.